I'm a survivor. Therefore, I'm a fighter. When the World Trade Center collapsed, my world and the world of many others collapsed together. I found myself jobless, hopeless, and lost, which all that led me to fear. Fear, a false evidence, appealing real. As far as fear concerns, there are two types of people, those who conquer it and those who live their life in fear. Fear, the number one dream killer. After surviving the 9-11, I rebuilt myself like the towers, taller, better, and is stronger like many others New Yorkers did. I made my project go global. As I was leaving my daily life, in one of my trips, I happened to be in Thailand when the tsunami took place. I had the option to stay or go home. I volunteered myself and offer help to those who were there to entertain me in the first place. Although I didn't speak a word of Thai, I realized that help, love, caring, had no barriers, and understanding people in their culture will have a much greater value than a bunch of words. I finally had the answer to what I've been looking for all these years to start my project. So what is this project then? Well, we can all agree that English is the world's lingua franca. Today, there is about 1.75 billion people around the world that speak English. That is equivalent to 20% of the whole world population. And this number is only set to grow. It is estimated by the end of this year, 2020, that two billion people will either be learning or speaking English. We are so busy with our daily routine that oftentimes we forget that we are all born with a commodity. Yeah, a language. And very few among us realize what can be done with. I'm using English as an example, but this can be done with any language. This can be replicable with any language because it is through one's language that we understand one's culture. And it is with one's culture that we understand what goes on in one's heart. As the famous proverbs say, speak, learn a language and you get a new soul or learn a new language and you avoid a war. There are about 174 million people around the world jobless, out of which 71 million is our future generation, the youngsters. 264 people around the world are suffering from depression, mainly related to work. But let it not be forgotten that there are 970 million people around the world trying to make their life a better place to be. Our world needs global citizens. And I'm not talking about Instagrammer, selfie time. No, I'm talking about global citizens. They are creative, proactive, flexible, and dedicated. Global citizens that take an active part in this emerging world community. Global citizens, they are committed to make a better place with best values in those communities. UNESCO already said that none of its goals will be possible with the lack of education, none of them. Education is essential. So that is why I created an institute, ITTI that takes your language 
and makes into a priceless, indispensable commodity. By helping hundreds of jobless people, transforming dreams into reality, with hundreds of jobless individuals, native or non-native English speakers, people who are unhappy at work, those who wanted to travel the world but have no idea how to do it, they have no money to pay for, and those who wanted to do more, who wanted to volunteer but don't know how and where to start. But here's the catchy part. In order to do that, everybody has to do what I did in order to feel how I felt when I volunteer in Thailand, to teach culture through language, especially to those less privileged ones, like orphans, former inmates, immigrants, refugees, and or whomever needs to be immersed in a difficult culture or community. It is today with your daily language that I'm making tomorrow's global citizens. There are about 600 ITTI ambassadors all over the world replicating what I started alone, teaching, volunteering month after month, hundreds of students, transforming regular citizens into global citizens. From Afghanistan to Brazil, from Ecuador to the Philippines, from Syria to South Africa or Zimbabwe. We are all over the world. As Mandela said, the only weapon we got to fight a war is education. And as I said, if you want to be understood by someone, speak her language. Although artificial intelligence Augmented reality and virtual reality, technology overall, is redefining how we learn a new language today. There is absolutely nothing that can replace human skills. And that is why I'm putting together meaning through culture with real world classroom experience. I understand that volunteer can give us the skill set that we need. So that's why I'm inviting you to take your language and create a huge impact onto your life and onto the lives of many others around you. Individually, we are just a simple drop, but together we are an ocean. Thank you.